The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and it's me Luke Kimberley with Rovers chat tonight with some instant reaction, some exciting instant reaction um, regarding the transfer of 23 year old Teo Idun. A great, great acquisition this one for me and money spent from TM and the team. If we're led to believe the rumours, six figure sums, so half a million pounds, so a big, big statement there. Um, but an exciting one for me. I think this one's a real prospect. So he, he is only 23, as I said, he's represented England at youth level. Uh, all the way from under 17s to, to under 20s in fact and I think the the big big bit in his um in his England youth career is the England under 19s representation he was part of that real real exciting crop of, of talent some of these players that are obviously playing for for the England full team now real real big players actually in fact for, for that England side so um, the way it was spoken about in, in that tournament one of the picks of the tournament in a side that went on to, in fact, win it, uh, beating Portugal in the final. Spoken about really highly, some of his performances um, had him picked out as, as one of the players of the tournament, in fact. So, a real talent in that tournament and, you know, some real cameos um, throughout his career, in fact, um, at League One level uh, and at, you know, at Championship level as well. He's... He played for Fulham, um, he made his debut in 2016 uh, in the League Cup uh, and of course he's, he's well known to Rovers, um, TM likes to, to sign those players that um, score against us, maybe to just stop them scoring against us, what a tactic, what a, what a tactic that might be but yeah he, um, he scored in his debut for Ipswich Town whilst on loan there, uh, of course against Blackburn Rovers so he perhaps has been on the radar for a little while. And with 12 months left on his contract, he's been quickly, quickly um, moved upon to um, to get him snapped up. Uh, Peterborough and Luton, I believe, were other clubs that have been interested in early on in this window. So Tony's bided his time on this one and, and the opportunity has come up. And um, hopefully we've got a, a real player on our hands. He's a left back. So an interesting signing in that respect. Um, were we looking for a, um, a left back? Perhaps not, having signed Harry Pickering. But we are light in that position. There's there's no doubt in that. And and Harry's had a real tough tough start to life at Rovers. It hasn't really set the world alight. Um, as we as we might have hoped, we have real high hopes for Harry Pickering. And I'm sure he'll he'll reach the the highs that we expect him to reach. Um, there's no doubt in that Harry Pickering's a real talent. But having some healthy competition in the squad at left back and beyond is um is not a bad thing whatsoever. Uh, Teo Edun can also play in central midfield, uh, more of a defensive role. Uh, but yeah, of course, in in central midfield, um, he is an option. Where again, we like having lost the likes of Corey Evans, Lewis Holtby. Um, we have brought in, of course, Leighton Clarkson. So by making making signings in that area. We can see that you know Tony's. Can see what we can see in that respect that the you know we do need to strengthen and we do need to have uh, more personnel to see us through the season and, and see out games. In fact, uh, it's not one area that you don't want to be light. So the fact that Taylor Dunn can can fill in in central midfield and, and do that very well, in fact, um, is is a major plus point to this signing as well. And the, like I say, a permanent signing, it's, a, it's the big one for me. Um, we brought in quite a few loans, which of course is great. Uh, personnel is light, uh, we do need the squad depth, but to, to have these players tied down, we're talking about contracts and we're talking about uh, a lot of our players now um, coming to the end of the contracts and, and getting to points where it's going to get a little bit nervy with contracts. So we, we, we do need to add to the squad um, with, with permanent signings as well. Uh, and Teo Iduni is really fitting the bill here. Uh, for me, yeah, exciting, exciting um, 
talent this one uh, and I hope big things will, will, will come for him um, a lot of the fans that you're speaking to from, from rival clubs um, a lot of the things that we're seeing on Twitter uh, about today we're doing um, all positive um, from this point in so yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed that he will um, reach the um, expected levels and uh, hopefully reach all our expectations uh, and uh, fill the buzz so uh, another great sign in this one for me um, topping off an, an already fantastic window and uh, with deadline day amongst us um, let's hope that we can add a few more faces uh, into the squad as well so today we're doing welcome to Blackburn Rovers and um, fingers crossed um, you're part of a really really big season so f thank you Rovers fans and uh, you know watch this space with more signings The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.